So I've been out of commission for a few weeks and that's because I've been working on the house. My wife and I have decided it's time to sell and I'm excited because the new house will bring a plethora of projects that I would love to share with you. So far I've got the house painted both inside and out. I've got the kitchen cabinets refaced and now I just need to match up the bathrooms with the kitchen. However, I think I'm going to take a break from that project for a little while because there's something else that needs to get done. The reasons are beyond the scope of this video. However, what is within the scope of this video is that I've decided to use dowels on that all important project. My only problem with using dowels, however, is that I don't have a repeatable system in place for me to get consistent results again and again. So here you go. This is a shelf from an old particle board bookcase, like what you might find for sale at a big box retailer. The bookcase itself is almost 10 years old. We're not gonna take it with us, so I'm just gonna cannibalize the parts and reuse what I can. This is a scrap piece of pine, and this is a piece of one by three oak. I'm using oak to reface the cabinets in the house, so I've got a lot of this stuff laying around. I'll glue the scrap pine to the underside of the piece I'll be using as the base of the jig. Then I'll turn my attention to the oak board. Cut it roughly the same length as the base. Now this mark I'm making here, remember this. It'll come into play later. The mark is the same width as the material that I'll be cutting dowels into. Take this over to the drill press and drill the dowel holes. And here I'll show you nothing but my arm being in the way. What was I thinking with this camera angle? Here, that's better. Now I'll take that over to the table saw and rip it in half. The jig will be clamped in my bench vise. To keep the vise from racking, I'm gonna place this spacer in first. Now those two pieces, I've kept them together. One will go on the long side and the other flip 90 degrees. I'll mark the length of the second piece, then cut that at the miter saw. That's better, now we'll do this again. 90 degrees. The two pieces need to be exactly corner to corner with each other, or this will be off. I want to be able to remove these pieces, especially this top one, as you'll see later. So I'll attach them with dowels. I'm feeling from underneath the jig when the pin is flush with the bottom. Then I'll just flush cut the tops. Now that can be removed or replaced if I want. Now the other side. I have a couple pieces of scrap I want to join with dowels. Mark the two adjoining sides. Take the first piece. I have to flip this over onto the jig to drill into the right side. Since I flipped the first piece, I have to flip the second piece as well or I'm gonna be off.
there is my dowel joint and that doesn't look half bad actually. Now let's say I want to dowel not at the end of two pieces but in the middle of one. I'll mark one side of the adjoining piece, remove the top section of the jig. On my example here I have to transfer the mark to the back side since I had to flip the first piece. I have to flip that second piece. Remember that mark I pointed out earlier in the video? It comes into play now. Line up the mark on your piece to the mark on the jig. If you'd like more information about this or other DIY projects, you can visit me at simplyeasydiy.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Pinterest. Until then.